In this video, we'll help you learn about the most common treatments for lung cancer. What treatment is best for you? Your cancer treatment will be based on your situation. The number and kinds of treatment choices you have will depend on different factors, including the type of lung cancer you have, the stage, extent of the cancer, your age and overall health, your personal preferences. Your cancer care team may include specialists in surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, symptom management, and other areas. You are a key part of your team. You should talk about all your treatment options to decide which are best for you. Before starting, ask about the goal of your treatment. Is the goal to cure the cancer, control it, or treat problems it's causing? This is a key part of the decision-making process. Sometimes the goal of treatment can change over time. Surgery is commonly used to treat some lung cancers. The goal is to remove the entire tumor, plus enough tissue that appears free of cancer around it to be reasonably sure that no cancer cells are left behind. Radiation therapy uses high-energy x-rays to kill cancer cells. Treatment is planned to deliver the most effective dose of radiation to the tumor while limiting the damage to surrounding normal tissues. Radiation therapy might be used as a main treatment. Sometimes it's used along with chemotherapy or before or after surgery. Radiofrequency ablation, or RFA, uses high-energy radio waves to heat and destroy cancer cells. Chemotherapy uses drugs to stop the growth of or destroy cancer cells. The drugs may be put right into the bloodstream or taken as pills. They then travel to reach cancer cells almost anywhere in the body. Chemotherapy may be used before surgery, after surgery, along with radiation therapy, or as the main treatment. Targeted therapy and immunotherapy are newer approaches to cancer treatment. Targeted therapy is designed to target changes in cancer cells that help them grow. Immunotherapy boosts a person's own immune system to recognize and destroy cancer cells. A second opinion can mean seeing another doctor or team of specialists to find out what kind of treatment course they recommend. This can help you feel more informed about your options and choices. If you smoke, it's never too late to quit. Quitting has been shown to help people with lung cancer live longer, even if the cancer has spread. It also lowers the chance of getting another lung cancer, which is especially important for people with early stage lung cancer. For more information about lung cancer or for help with quitting smoking, call the American Cancer Society at 1-800-227-2345 or visit cancer.org.